Hi everybody, I'm Ashley Park with ID8 TV and we are here at Long Beach Comic Con. I'm standing here with Dave Gibbons and we're going to talk to him a little bit about his background and his work. So first of all, Dave, uh, thank you for speaking with You're us. You're very welcome, it's a pleasure. And I just want to ask you, how did you first become interested in comic books? Man, that's a long, long time ago. I must have been about seven years old. I remember my granddad bought me a Superman comic from Woolworths and I just loved it and I was hooked on it from, from then. And I used to draw my own comics as a kid. I, I love the idea of telling stories in pictures. And I've been drawing them professionally now for 40 years. Absolutely. Um, I know that you worked on Watchmen. I believe you collaborated with Alan Moore. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Oh, sure. Well, you know, Watchmen came along at just, just the right time. I've been working for DC Comics for a couple of years, and Alan had started working for them, and we, we were friends. And um, I, you know, I loved his scripts, always liked to work with him. And um, I said, oh, you know, this Watchmen thing you're, you're writing, I'd love to draw it. He said, yeah, you'd be great for it. And uh, DC gave us the go ahead. And then we did it. It took about two years of our lives to do. Uh, but it was such an enjoyable thing to do. Not an easy thing to do, but really enjoyable, really challenging. And, you know, the rest is kind of comic book history, I guess. It's, it's, it still sells. They made a movie of it, as you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was one of those once-in-a-lifetime chances. Absolutely. Well, speaking of challenges and other works, what are some of your favorite projects that you've worked on? Wow. Well, um, after I did Watchmen, I, I worked with Frank Miller um, on the adventures of Martha Washington. We did a series called Give Me Liberty, and then Martha Goes to War and several other series. Altogether, you know, 600 pages of, of comics. Um, so that was a lot of fun. More recently, I worked with Mark Miller on The Secret Service, which has been made into the, the Kingsman movies. And that was a lot of fun as well. You know, the, the best thing in comics is when you get the chance to work with friends because then it becomes like a, like a game or, or a, a, an enjoyable thing to do. So that's what I always look for. I've, always, I've also been lucky to write some comics and work with some really, really good artists like Mike Mignola, Jose Luis, Garcia Lopez, Steve Rude. So, yeah, over, over the years, you know, I've, I've worked on some really, really good projects with some great people. Absolutely. For young aspiring artists, would you have any advice that you could give them? Well, I've got a very good, good bit of advice, is, which is that I've just written a book together with a friend of mine, and it's called How Comics Work, and it comes out in the middle of September, and it, it's really everything I know about how to do comics, and some previously unseen work drawn from my archives to show you stage by stage how to make comics. But yeah, if, if you want to draw comics, you have to love to draw because you're going to spend a lot of hours sitting in a room drawing. But it, it's, it's, it's great fun and um, yeah, I've really enjoyed my time doing comics. Absolutely. Well, this book, where can people find it or is there anything else you're working on right now that you'd want to talk about? Mm. Wow. Um, it, it's, as I say, it's being published this, this month. So if you Google or go on Amazon or your, your other favorite online bookstore and look for how comics work and my name, you, you'll find it there. Um, I'm also working on my autobiography, which hopefully will be out next year. Um, and I'm doing a lot of consulting work, you know, um, I'm working with some tech companies, a company called Madefire on digital comics, um, another startup company called Magic Leap, whose technology is going to be absolutely huge. Um, and and uh, I've worked with publishers in England doing educational comics. So, you know, I feel I've done so many years of actually writing and drawing them. It's really good now to just kind of sit back a little bit and tell other people how to do them. Amazing. Lastly, is there anything fun you could tell anyone that someone might not know about the comic book industry? For example, have you ever drawn anything in the background just for kicks? Wow, well I suppose we do that kind of thing all the time. You have to draw so many people, you tend to draw friends of yours or and you'll put odd, odd little in jokes in. I can't think of anything nothing comes to mind now that is particularly scandalous or you know uh, it's uh, yeah it's just what, what 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 you can sneak through really so no I've got, I haven't got any scandal actually you know what we're standing here in the hero initiative booth I wanted to ask you um, if what this means to you oh well I think the hero initiative is very very important I mean each new generation of comic book creators kind of stands on the shoulders of the generation before 
and you know there are deals available to writers and artists now that we that I didn't have when when I was breaking into comics and certainly the generations before that didn't have at all and so there are a lot of people who spent a lifetime doing comics and now find themselves at the at the other end sometimes with health problems sometimes with all sorts of cash problems and the, the Hero Initiative is, is an attempt to, to help them. You know, basically they've given us lots of good entertainment and it's really great to be able to help those people. And as you can see, people are so, so generous with what, what they'll pay for signatures and sketches. And it, it's a really great thing to be a, a part of. And I think it's, it's a way to thank the people who have actually helped you be successful. Absolutely. It's so it's always so beautiful to see artists giving back and especially for people on the rise. So it's a really beautiful thing. Yeah, I, th I think so. Long, long may it thrive. Many people may it help. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Dave, for your time. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. It's been enjoyable. Thank you. I'm Ashley Park with ID8 TV.